Hello world, I'm Missy Girl. Welcome back to another video with your girl, Missy Girl. I am so, so sorry that I haven't posted in a long time. I can't even lie and say I've been busy. I just haven't been posting because I didn't, didn't know what to post about. So yeah, but before I get started to this video, make sure to like it up, subscribe, comment below what you want to see me do or talk about. And yeah, let's get started. And also, I got the shirt from Forever 21. It says, be strong, be brave, be fearless. You are not alone. Joshua 1-9. Yes. All right. So this video is basically going to be like a more recent and current video on a video I posted two years ago about my poetry. Um, I was kind of rewatching a little bit of it and I realized that I was answering questions, I guess from Instagram, um, that people were asking about my poetry. But I never really told you guys about my po my poetry journey and how I got into poetry and how I really took a turn on poetry in a more personal sense. Because most people, they think poetry is about like general things and like love and like depression and anxiety and like relationships and things like that. But for me personally, poetry has saved my life in more ways than I can ever imagine. And I'm going to get into that. I'm going to basically tell you guys how that all happened. And I might get a little emotional. So if I cry, I got some tissue right here. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. So the first, first of all, I've always been a writer. I love writing short stories. I love writing like when I was a child and you know how you have those assignments and you had to use vocabulary words and like stories and short sentences and things like that. I love that. But I didn't really get into poetry itself until I was 16. And for my sweet 16 to the gift of my parents, I wrote them two poems. Well, one for my mom, one for my dad. And my godmother read those poems to my parents on the night of my sweet 16. Um, so I was like, oh, I really like poetry because it's a different way to express yourself. Like most people dance or they paint or they draw or whatever it is. But for me, I like poetry. I like how I feel when I write it. I like how I feel when I read over my poems and yeah. So it wasn't until I became really, really depressed years ago when I started to just sit down at night in my bed, cry myself to sleep, when I realized like I need to do something more than just cry myself to sleep. And yes, I prayed. Yes, I read the word. But I wanted to do something other than that. You know what I mean? And I have a very strong relationship with God, but I wanted to do something for my own personal outbreak, you know? So I started to write poetry on depression. And one of the poems that I wrote, I don't know if I shared this out with um, my viewers, it's called Abracadabra. I'm sorry, it's called The Great Escape. And um, it's basically about myself self-harming and about myself cutting myself. And in that poem, it basically talks about how I killed myself in a sense. Obviously, I didn't kill myself because I'm, I'm here. Thank the Lord I'm here. Thank God I'm here. Um, and when I wrote that poem, I just broke down. And that was pretty much my epiphany. That was pretty much my triumph moment. That was pretty much my testimony to let me know that it's okay to have these emotions and it's okay to feel that way, but it's not okay to cut yourself. It's not okay to self-harm. And sorry, this is a little too explicit. Sorry if this is um, a trigger warning to anybody, but I really feel like this is important. And I would harm myself in the sense of using my actual nails these are obviously my actual nails using my actual nails to cut my arm and i would scratch my arm and i would also use a, a bottle top glass not a plastic bottle like a like a, a drinking bottle or whatever from like wine or whatever i would use that bottle cap to cut myself and i don't know if you guys can see but there were cuts all around here that i had from cutting myself and it wasn't until I wrote that poem when I said, I need to stop doing this because this isn't what God wants me to do. This isn't what God wants me to be. Yes, he knows there's going to be difficult times and hard times, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't want me to kill myself. He doesn't want me to self harm myself. And he doesn't want my body to be in that type of usage. So after that, I stopped having depression. I have a therapist now. I have the love and support of my family and my friends and my loved ones to help me through my depressing moments I don't I wouldn't say I'm like I am fully healed from depression but I do have depressing moments and depressing times when I don't where I don't get too deep into it where I do go back into self-harm I don't do any of that anymore thank the thank lord oh, thank the lord thank god and I'm so thankful that I have recovered from that so now my poetry is more so about love relationships anxiety um 
friends and just anything that people want to hear about you know i've i've written a lot of poems about society and how people view society i've written a lot of poems about um how to not fit into a box i wrote a, po a couple poems about being african-american and living in this world where it's predominantly white privilege and i just wrote a lot of poems that relate to other people and at first i was afraid to share my poems to other people i was keeping them more so in you know and i was keeping them in my notes and i wasn't really um sharing that with anyone else the only person i would share that with is my best friend because she writes poetry too and um we would share poems back and forth and another close friend of mine i would share poems with her back and forth as well and i just sat down and i was saying what am i doing like i can definitely share poems to other people i can post it on instagram i can use other platforms such as youtube to share my poems and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from my poems. I haven't really gotten negative feedback. And if I did, I kind of just said, okay, you know, at the end of the day, it's my poetry. It's what I feel, how I feel. It's the type of words that I um, I, I word it. Um, so poetry has become a big part of my life. I've written over, I've written, oh my gosh, what is wrong with my, what is wrong with my English? I've written over a hundred poems and um, over the course of three years or so. Um, I shared the poems with myself via email and I've lost them. Like I've tried to go back to the email and I can't find them. I can't retrieve them. So I have to find a way to get them all back. Um, I copy, I have all those earlier poems copy written and I have to do those, the same thing, the same process with my recent poems. So all of my poems can be copy written because ideally I want to do a book in the future where it's two parts. One part is with my older poems and the second part is with my newer poems and a lot of my poems like i said before are of different um varieties and they have different groups and they have different connections and some of the poems aren't really connected with each other so i don't care if that happens you know i don't want all my whole book to be about love or my whole book to be about depression i want my book to be about different poems you know and what i find pretty cool is i have some poems that i've actually written and i've had some poems where i actually drew a picture and I have some poems where you, well, I have one poem where you can read it backwards, you know? And some of my poems that I have written are about my past childhood trauma. I'm not gonna get into that because that's TMI, that's a little bit too personal, but it's about my past childhood trauma and that helped me through what I was going through as well. So I really find that poetry is my safe haven. It's my comfort space when, even when I am, even when I'm not in my depressing moments, even when I'm not going through my anxious moments or going through a difficult time, if I get a thought in my mind or if I get a title in my mind or if I get a concept in my mind, I instantly grab my phone, go to my notes and just start typing away. And a lot of people have complications with that. They have writer's block and I have writer's block too. Writer's block basically is when you're writing something, when you, it could be a poem, it could be a story, it could be anything. When you're writing something and you get stuck and you can be stuck with that thought for a while. I don't really have that because once I start getting ideas going from the poem, I just start to write until I finish. Um, but sometimes I have difficulties with trying to rhyme if, I'm, if I want to rhyme. Most of my poems aren't rhyming. Some of them are. But if I'm trying to rhyme, I get I have difficulties with trying to rhyme that words. Or I have a difficulty with how to end my poem. You know, like I have a, a nice start, a nice flow. But I want to have my ending very strong. either Either stronger than the beginning or just as strong as the beginning, you know? Um, so yeah, I just really love poetry. It's fun. Um, it's interactive. I can relate to a lot of people. I shared poems with my family members. They loved it. And I have an Instagram page. I'm going to put it in my bio as well. I mean, my description box as well. So you guys can follow that. So you can see, I haven't really posted too much on my um, Instagram page for my poetry. I mainly post it on my main channel, which I can most likely just, you know, archive it and move it to my poetry poem, uh, poetry account but yeah poetry is just really fun for me it really is it's it's a new thing that i not a new thing but it's a thing that i've experienced and discovered later in life i wasn't always a poet a poet i just recently became one a couple of years ago you know and um yeah my main goal is to just reach out to others who have um who need another person to speak for them that is afraid to speak for themselves you know and um, another goal that I have, like I said before, is to have my book, 
you know, whether I self-publish it or get a publisher or worked with Amazon with it because I know Amazon does publishing as well. So I just really want to just share this out with you guys and let you know my my journey in terms of poetry and how I became a poet and how much I love poetry and the different types of poems that I wrote, that I've written. I Oh my God, I need to go back to school. I cannot speak. Um, in the post that I made a couple of years ago, I shared a couple of poems and maybe I'll have one video where I'll share some of my poems. Not That's not too personal because like I said, I have poems that are really, really personal. I won't share those, but I will share a few of the poems that I've written that um, kind of got me into the start of everything, you know, and is more relatable on the more relatable side. Maybe I'll share the poem that I talked about earlier in my video, The Great Escape. Like I said before, that really, really brought me out of my depression. And I cry every time I read that poem because it's like, wow, like here I am still alive. Like, thank God, you know. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's a little bit different than what I'm used to posting. But again, if you have any ideas of what I can do or talk about or discuss, please feel free to comment below in my comment section. I will greatly appreciate it. And I will definitely take your comments into consideration. So thank you guys so much for being a part of my family, being a part of this YouTube family. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I know I haven't posted a lot, but I'm still here. I'm still good. I hope all is well with you all. So thank you guys so much for um, watching my videos. And I love you guys. Be true, be you. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And yeah. Oh, my, my arm just cracked. Let's do that again. Okay. <laughs>